Hey guys, in this video I'd like to go over how to use the simple slot blocker that uh, Sirabob has set up. In this video I'm going to explain the specific function of setting up reserved slots based off of a prefix or a username. Okay, so what I, the idea is that you're going to block off a specific group or a specific jet, which each jet can be its own group. Uh, so you can see here I've I've got Crawler 1-1 for one of the jets and Bravo 9-8 for the other jet. So I'm Bravo 9-8, my wingman is Crawler 1-1. And so what I'd like to do is block these jets off so that he can't get into my aircraft, I can't get into his aircraft. Uh, you could do this on a big server if you wanted to reserve slots just for the admin which is what I actually have uh, in my real life server, is uh, slots blocked off for the admin so that none of the other users can get into our aircraft. So that's what the script does. Let's show how to use it. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to go over to uh, GitHub. I'll leave this link in the description. This is where the file is going to be. You're going to click on code and download the zip. Once you download the zip, you can open up that folder, open up the folder within, within that, and then what you want to extract is you can just copy this uh, file, simple slot block game uh, GUI.lua. What you're going to do is copy that. And you want to bring it to wherever your DCS World Server folder is. Open that and put it into scripts hooks, and there it is. So that's where I've got my simple slot block game GUI.lua. Okay, so we've got that. Now what we want to do is we want to go inside this folder. So we're gonna open it up. I have it open in Notepad++. Uh, that's what I would suggest if you don't have something already, just get Notepad++, it's free in the App Store, uh, and it's really easy to use. So I'm gonna open that up. And here's the actual script here. So it's not very long. It's pretty short, actually. Uh, pretty simple to work with. It looks like a lot if you're not used to programming, but it's quite simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into the, the uh, script here. And we're going to scroll down until we see ssb.prefixes. And it's on line 103 for me for reference ssb.prefixes. Now, these for the admin in my server, these are uh, the usernames that they use. So these are all aircraft uh, that I've blocked off using their username in my server. So what you're going to want to do is come over to ssb.prefixes and make sure you've got a comma after each name. Uh, but for this one, what I would do is I would just type in Bravo 98 and Crawler right there. And so that since these are already in my script, these will block those two slots that I've set up for Bravo 98 and for Crawler. What you're going to want to do is to type in your username. It has to be, it is case sensitive, so it has to be exact uh, what your username and your friend's usernames are uh, for whoever you're blocking a slot off for. And as far as I know, you can just put as many names in here and the game will, will search these names in the server and it'll block any slots with, with these names included in them. Okay, so now we're gonna show how to set up the actual mission. So the first thing you wanna do is come here and get your username all set up in there. Now we're going to set up the actual mission. So I'm not gonna do any sort of complex mission, I just wanna show the basics. So we've got these two aircraft here, I'm going to show how to block them off. So first thing we want to go once, and I'm just going to say run SSB. And then you, the condition you want is time more one second. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna say do script. The script you want in here is not the entire folder. All you need to run is this action right here, trigger.action.setUserFlag 
SSB 100. Um, I'm not going to explain what all of that means. All you have to do is highlight it, copy it, and drop it into the mission editor, like so. Okay? And that is it as far as that goes. Because your names are already in the uh, the the file, then you're all set to go. That that will uh, simply run the SSB and it'll reference those names and block those off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this and start up uh, my server here real quickly. This is my real server name here. Feel free to join and check us out at some point. Uh, so I'm going to run this. So this is my test server here. So I'm going to run this as my server so I can get in. So I'm going to exit this. Multiplayer. And here's my server here. So right now we're running the test server. And you can see there are just two A10 there. So we're going to get in here. And what should happen is it should block off me from being able to get into his aircraft. And it should block him from being able to get into my aircraft. And I'm going to try to demonstrate that. Here, if it loads. I always load slower when I'm recording, just to make it seem really slow. OK, here we go. So here's the two slots. So. I'm going to click this one and you can see up here in the chat, so this is me, I'm, this is the auto admin for this server, it says bravo98 slot allowed. So it recognizes my username, okay, and it says okay, that's cool, you're allowed in that jet. So just to sh prove that, I can hit briefing, fly. Stand by, and there we go. So I'm in this slot now. Okay. Now let's see what happens if I try to get into crawler's slot. So I'm going to click here, and you can see the auto admin says, "Sorry, Bravo 98 slot currently disabled. Pick a different slot." So it's disabled. It says it's disabled, but what it means is it's disabled to me. Uh, if crawler were here right now, he'd be able to click on that and get in there. And it doesn't matter how much I try to get in there, not going to happen. And I can click this and I'm in. Now, if you wanted multiple jets saved for yourself, you can put this in front of any jet you want to use and it'll block off every single one that has your username in front of it. I hope this helps. Um, I, I kind of struggled setting it up, but I'm not really a programmer. So uh, if anyone else is struggling with it, I hope this helps. Leave me a comment uh, and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.